What's up, Guahomi? Welcome back to another episode of GPA TV. Today we have announcements, weather, sports, and more. And GPA TV starts right now. Final time. Three, five, four, three, two. Registration window is now open to sign up for the IB assessments. Registration forms can be found on the IB page on the Guahomi website or can be found in counseling. All forms must be turned in no later than next Friday. Please see Mr. Thompson with any questions you may have. College, college visits are coming to Guahomi. Sign up on your student Navians to attend. A couple of the colleges that will be coming are University of San Diego and University of Oregon. Stop by counseling with any further questions. And now onto weather with Malloy. What's up, Kuhomi? You got Malloy back at you with your weekly weather. It's time to get your sweatshirts and hoodies. This week, you can expect anything from the mid 50s to the low 70s. We are in the middle of hurricane season, and trust me, the storms are living up to that standard. Yet another hurricane has made landfall this time near the west coast of Mexico. Fortunately, Hurricane Willa is dying down from its former ranking as a Category 5 storm, as of now it's weakened into a Category 3 hurricane. However, it still brings life-threatening winds up to 130 miles per hour and is projected to hit Texas and other southern states before dying down. Hope everybody stays safe. I've been Malloy, and back to the studio. Thanks, Malloy. Spanish Club will be meeting on Fridays at lunch in, the, in room 3219. Please come and contribute and share ideas. If you want to learn how to become more environmentally friendly and help make some positive changes at our school, join Conservation Club. They meet every Wednesday at lunch in room 3109. I'd be sure to check that out. And now on sports with, with Griffin. Howdy y'all, I'm Griffin Ord, and I'm bringing you sports news. We have a lot of announcements today, so let's get through it quick. Girls soccer tryouts are on November 5th, 6th, and 7th at 3.30 to 5 p.m. at the Vista Sports Park. Then, on to high school boys soccer, their tryouts will be held on November 5th through the 9th at 3.30 to 5 p.m. also at the Vista Sports Park. High school wrestling first practice will be November 5th, open to all student grades 9 through 12. High school girls basketball first practice will be November 3rd from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the gym. The regular practices are from Monday to through Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Boys basketball first practice will be also held on November 5th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the gym. That's all for this week, homie. I've been Griffin, now on to a story about K-pop. Music is a huge part of many people's lives. There's all kinds of genres that really show us the diversity of music. From slow, smooth blues, to hardcore rock, to reggaeton. Music today has something for everyone. But there's one type of music that really shows a diverse side of music in the last couple of years that has become very popular. That type of music is called K-pop. K-pop is short for Korean pop. It originated from South Korea in the 90s and has grown very steadily into a huge global phenomenon since. Between 1995 and 1998, there were three powerhouse music studios that appeared. SM Entertainment, JYP, and YG Entertainment. 
Fast forward to 2006. The five-member boy group Big Bang debuted from YG Entertainment. This group grew and came to be known as the biggest boy group in the world for their huge growing success around the world, selling 140 million records over the course of their career. A year later, Girls' Generation, an eight-member girl group, debuted from SM Entertainment in 2007. Girls' Generation became known in Korea as the nation's girl group for their huge success both in Japan and Korea, having more than 550,000 Japanese fans attend their three Japanese tours to date. Moving ahead to 2012, YouTube's most viewed video ever for five years hit the internet. Gangman Style by Korean artist Psy broke records, earning 2.8 billion views. Psy was also from the entertainment company JYP. Psy was a huge part of the rise in K-pop, having the music genre earn more recognition in fans. One year later, in 2013, a new boy group debuts from a smaller and more underrated company called Big Hit Entertainment. This new boy group is called BTS. BTS is a seven-member boy group that became known for their lyrics that touch on sensitive topics such as school bullying, social tool ideas, mental health issues, self-love, suicide, and female empowerment. BTS has a lot of meanings. The original meaning, Bangtan Sonyadan, which means bulletproof boy scouts in Korean. It symbolizes deflecting stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations like bullets. It now stands for Beyond the Scenes. BTS is known to be the most popular boy group of today and has broken down walls and broken the glass roof, breaking into Western culture and becoming global phenomenons. As of July 2018, BTS had won 53 awards and sold 7 million albums. BTS has even been on American TV shows like Ellen. We're back with BTS and first We're of back with the biggest boy band in the world, BTS. James Corden's Late Late Show. Jungkook and RM known together as BTS. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Welcome, BTS. Guys, uh, it's been so fun. Uh, because of the strong messages that BTS holds, they also have spoken at the UN because of their campaign with UNICEF called UNICEF Love Myself. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. With all this recognition, they've also been on the cover of Time magazine. These aren't the only K-pop groups out there though. There's other groups like EXO, GOT7, BLACKPINK, RED VELVET, TWICE, SEVENTEEN, PENTAGON, and much more. There's actually been about 295 K-pop groups in total in the past. Some have disbanded, but some have stayed together, and some like Big Bang are on hiatus. K-pop has been so popular that it even started to get fans into the culture of Korea, like dramas, films, fashion, and beauty. As we can see, K-pop has broken down barriers around the world and is a very popular type of music. The world of Korean culture is huge and no joke. This has been Adriana Gonzalez reporting for GPA TV. Wow, thanks Griffin, and that was a pretty good story. GPPA is in need of high school students to help run carnival games this Friday from 4.15 to 7.15 at the Fall Festival. For more information, please contact Mrs. Moore. Help is needed at the Breeze Hill Elementary Carnival this Saturday. For more information, please contact the email below. Now on to Word of the Week with Alexa. The English language is full of very complicated words with very complex meanings. And here I am to show you an example of one. Well, hi. Who do we have with us today? Melani Johnson. Hello, Melani. How well versed in the English language do you believe you are? I feel like I'm pretty well versed. Well, can you give me the definition of the word? Floss and awesome, hilly pilification. Well, that's a very long word, but I do believe it is the transformation of turning yourself into a hippo. <laughs> Thank you. Can you give me your best definition of the word floss and awesome, hilly pilification? 
it kind of sounds like it would be a volcano name or like a mountain name. So I guess a volcano. Thank you. Can you give me the definition of the word floss and austin, hilipilification? Floss and Is it something to do with like your teeth or? I don't know. Well, thank you. Well, could you believe that the definition of, to the word floss and austin, hilipilification, is the act of estimating something as worthless? No. Never. I would have never guessed that, ever. Well, could you believe that the definition of the word floss and austin, hilipilification, is the act of estimating something as worthless? No. <laughs> this has been Word of the Week with Alexa. See you next time, go homie. Well, that's all for today, go homie. I've been Adriana, signing out.